questions tonight of whether a horse show in Mississippi is using a controversial practice that's made national headlines. 16 WABD's Hadass Brown investigates. This may look like any other horse shoe, but animal rights advocates say it's a tool for torturing horses. And it involves the intentional infliction of pain to the lower legs of horses. It's called soaring, and it's supposed to get the horses to walk a certain way for competition. Trainers strap weights and caustic chemicals on horses' hooves, leaving behind sores. The practice made national headlines. We found horses wearing those kind of weights at the Mississippi Charity Horse Show. I don't know what the controversy is about. President of the Mississippi Charity Horse Show Association, Robert Taylor, says evidence shows the practice does not hurt the horse. According to Auburn University, it's not true. According to the Horse Protection Act, it's not true. Nothing is done outside of the Horse Protection Act. It's all legal. Taylor picked a horse at random so we could examine the feet. He's perfect. No hairs out of place. No cuts. No blood. But Keith Dane with the Humane Society says there are ways to disguise the sores. Either putting um, topical agents on top to cover them up or even going so far as to use laser surgery to remove the scars. That Taylor tells us there are federal inspectors on hand to check out each of the horses before every show. In Jackson, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. The Batson Children's Hospital used to be the beneficiary of the horse show. That changed this year. The hospital released a statement saying, although we're comfortable the Mississippi show complies with all applicable laws for the protection of horses, the national controversy over the way Tennessee walking horses are trained and handled, particularly those that perform in the big lick style, has brought us to this decision.